Calling friends. How do you position yourself on the petanque terrain when it's the opponent's turn to play? I'm going to sketch it out for you. First of all, I'm going to represent a jack and a circle. Imagine there's a line between the two. Then, I'm going to draw five lines to show you the forbidden and the authorized zones. In relation to this imaginary line between the jack and the circle, we're going to trace a perpendicular line at jack level and another perpendicular line at circle level. Then, at least two meters from the jack and at least two meters from the circle, I'm going to draw a line parallel to this imaginary line on both sides, one on the left and one on the right, where we need two meters on each side. Then, a last line, which will be located two meters behind the circle. And I'll show you the authorized zones in green and the forbidden zones in red. So, which zones are authorized? Here, 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 here and there. And the forbidden zones? Behind the jack, obviously. All the zones that are located between the jack and the circle, including the middle of the terrain. And the last forbidden zone, which is anywhere less than two meters from the circle at the back. So, bowling friends, follow this rule to the letter, because you're going to be the next one to play. If ever you have a little blank, just remember the Red Cross. Come on, let's have another round.